David Harden, one stock you like over at Summit Global Investments is American Express. Stocks had a rough past 12 months. It's down over 27%. Ken Chenal, the CEO, is turning it around. Will he be successful? I think so. If you look since the end of January, it's had a real good track record. It's up over 8%. Um, you look at its beta, it's, it's down low. It, over the last two years, had a 0.92 beta. But the last six months, I think it's headed in the right direction, a 0.5 beta. Um, I, th I think what he's learned from the Costco situation, he's learned that, hey, we can't take everybody for granted. And when you look at that from a stock perspective, I think they're doing the right things and they are headed in the right direction. I like American Express. All right, well, you also like Target. This stock has really bounced back since mid-February. Uh, they're doing the right things online and uh, in the brick and mortar stores. Really has come back since that credit card theft crisis. So can they keep it going? You know, that's a good question. We were in Target before prior to the credit card crisis. Because of that, we got out of Target on January 10th when they made that announcement. We missed all the volatility that resulted from that. The, you know, the, 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 manager, the CEO resigning, going through the new uh, CEO search, exiting it out of Canada. I think now they're back on track. They've saved a lot of money with that respect. Their beta is down as well. We like low volatility type of stocks. The stock fits right in the bandwidth. Two-year beta about 0.7, but the last six months going in the right direction, 0.51 beta. I like Target. I think it's in the right direction. A little bit of um, consumer staple, I think, in Target that helps out a lot as consumer discretion is kind of hurting right now. So, yes. All right. And then finally, you are a fan of AT&T. Pays a nice 5% or a little, maybe even a little bit more dividend. Is that why you like it? Um, not, not quite. Uh, the dividend's nice, don't get me wrong, and it's doing very well, up over 14% year to date. But you look at the last two-year track record and the last six-month track record, almost identical in the, in the volatility of the stock with a beta of about 0.58. AT&T, if you ask anybody nowadays what they'd rather buy, more food or get a good smartphone, it's more smartphones. So from a consumer staple standpoint, it's really, I, I would almost put it in a consumer staple bucket, and it's doing very well. So yes, I like AT&T. All right, well, thanks a lot, David. Thank you. Thank you for watching the street.